Good morning, everybody. It's me. I was just checking on Monday morning. I am overwhelmed. I had needed to take some mental health respite for a few days, and I have work to do for my business, um, catch-up work, so there's no break. Um, I was on a good roll with my work as far as planning stuff out, um, like just trudging through the work, and people start contacting me, and I had a really bad day last week on the 31st. I had some consults that were not supposed to be consults, really. They were supposed to be paid work, and these people totally flaked out on me, and I ended up being in a position where between these back-to-back -back appointments, oh, it got really dark. I received a message that the office building and my Portland office burnt down. It didn't burn down, the roof burnt off, and I didn't know if it was my building or not, and I still to this day do not know how that is going to affect me. Um, I did wires here. <clears throat> I don't know how that's going to affect me as far as, ooh, that's bright. Um, Water damage, smoke damage, electricity's been off. The only thing I know is the rent happened. I paid my rent. I think the day that it burnt, I paid my rent. I Okay, by the way, these things are really good. And a bunch of people said that they hated it and gave it to their dog. <clears throat> and by the cost, this is so good. And a fake egg. Solid sandwich. It's pretty much just tastes like tuna sandwich to me, or I'm gonna do egg salad sandwich, chicken salad sandwich, tuna salad sandwich, tuna salad with crackers, and potato salad. It tastes more full than my like, potato salad. It'd be a little plan. I don't know, I said you're raw vegan. Some of this stuff, I really don't know. There's things in it besides the salt that make my body swell. So I had seen this and had to investigate and um, I could um we live near this office so I can knew that there is a fire and my insurance wanted to know all these questions about when the roof was done when the furnace was done and the place never answered my questions so I had to figure out my insurance how valid my insurance policy is from a year ago Literally, um, it really sucks because if someone doesn't give me that information, I am, I'm not in town to try to figure that out or try to use GPS to try to figure out what kind of composite the roof's made out of. Um, so, it is what it is. Today, currently right now, I'm in Eastern Maryland. I have a slave state. It was a slave state. Is a slave state. I read yesterday that Delaware, the state of Delaware did not change the law on slavery until 1901. I have relatives that were born, I have relatives that I straight up know that were born in the 1800s, or that I knew when I was a child, before the year 2000, that were 100 something years old when I knew them. Um, in Ohio, I don't know about the the ones in Virginia. I've been looking at my family tree. I feel like I'm going nowhere fast. Um, a lot of people, I already knew this um, with more recent relatives about being drafted or in the military during slavery, during segregation. Could you imagine just giving your life to a country that just steals from you and kills you and you have nothing to show for it? Pretty much 100% of my relatives own houses, property, multiple houses. And they're always putting their house and their yard and their plants and their pets on Facebook and everything. Um, I don't know how to deal with not being the only non landowner. What kind of neighborhoods are these houses in? Well, that's another question. I found a one of my Virginia 
ancestors addresses online. Um, this person is deceased. I want to know if the family still own the house. There was a lot of crime in the house, uh, domestic disputes. So who knows what that, how deep that goes? But there was a shooting of a toddler on that street, and it was heartbreaking because the news story was about a half a cent. And they be, they talked more about the similar vehicle being used in a carjacking or some other kind of property crime earlier. And then they basically shot this kid. Someone shot the kid and drove away. There was reports on ads, I guess, on missing people and cold case. And their African-American one was a white lady. And the African-American one, I told my partners a little blurb. And then there was a shoe ad. And I was like, how distasteful, you know? And I know that when you search a property by an address, there's going to, it's like searching a business. There'll be all these websites that just scour the internet for information and put it on their page. Hope that you click on it. They have their SEO high and they're basically, they want your clicks so that they can have ads all over the place. It's not necessarily any kind of news story website. It's not necessarily like a maps website. It's not necessarily um, government who owns this property website. So I can understand that. Some I think some of the ones were kind of news, more news oriented or um, newspaper articles. But I was pretty disappointed about feeling like our lives, black lives, did not matter. And it's just you know an afterthought um, because I guarantee if it was someone who was white who was missing or that happened to their toddler, there'd be more of a story. And I didn't look into that because I was looking for the property and who owned it, and I couldn't see any similar last names. That doesn't mean much, of course, because um, so many times women and then their children have different last names than our ancestors and our common ancestors. So that makes it a bit difficult um, for my partner's family. It's a little more direct on who's who and where are they in history. And the history is very noble for my partner and mine is very slave. So I have some, I have almost 100% of people in this town that do not like me, that make fun of me, that give me dirty looks, um, exclude me, and I'm in groups, faith-based, or recovery, self-help-based, or volunteering, or fill in the blank, um, this town, this county, this state, professional organizations, just getting the cold shoulder from everyone. And this is a common pattern in my life. When I made this channel, was it 2009? Sometime around the time I, I believe it was after I actually went to the graduate medical school. I don't think I filmed prior to that much, uh, except from that music one that got taken down because of copyright. I had played a record briefly and had uh, set up my sound system because I'm a DJ and it took me years and years to get all the parts of the sound system, including, I don't know, this company, was it sound something? It took like a year or two to get me the, I paid, prepaid for this two um, record needles. I wanted to share my experience on medical school I was a single, divorced, black, single mother of two children going to medical school. I had formally got accepted in the MSOM, um, Chinese Medicine and the Naturopathic Program. My heart was set on the midwifery program, which is not really called midwifery. It's called natural childbirthing, but people are like, what does that mean? So we just adopted as midwives, even though um, my preceptors, the, the doctors that I learned under their certificates in their office say obstetrics on the certificate. So it is what it is, you know, obstetrics. Um, that's the truth right there, guys. Because um, I had to become a, oops, I spilled this. I had to become a physician first with both education and license in order to become a physician who's specializing at times in obstetrics. I talk to people that have no idea where India is. I talk to people that don't know the scope 
of their license in the state and jurisdiction that they're in. They look at me like I got two heads. When they haven't even sat down to read the rules. I have people that told me when I first moved here to break the rules. <clears throat> and say how, oh, that's how they did it. And then I find out, I didn't break the rules, but I find out later through the history there was no licensing when they started here. It just became a new thing. They were licensed out of state, brought the out of state license here. I could say they were licensed. And then when the licensing board put the rule in, stamped that thing, everyone who said, I'm an ND needs to actually go through the licensing process and follow the rules. So I'm wondering how a group of people that went through undergrad, went through grad school, took a bunch of exams in and out of school, national exams. How did it get to a point where you don't know anything, but yet you have a boutique, boutique style clinic? This stuff is almost gone, guys, where you are making more money than I can even think of, let alone more money that I could use. So <laughs> like I mean an intelligent person to use to get out of debt and to pay my life my life bills, you know. I'm not gonna make it my problem anymore. Why these individuals are trying to scam me? What, three or four years ago? So, oh yeah, I wonder how much you can, I can charge you to use my office space. And I could hear it through the phone, like, yeah. Hmm, how many days do you think you could come? Because that would be, cause I can use some, I mean, she just straight out, like, I can make money off of you. It's not like a cola. Oh my gosh, we have some more interest. Come and shadow for a second while you wait for your list to come in the mail and let's go out for tea and to chat and get to know each other and take it from there. It's not it's not that. It's <laughs> as other people yell at me in this organization. Yelled at me, yelled at this other lady who already cancelled our appointment. Because my partner was going to drive, my partner is going to stay in the car, likely, but actually, no, he's not allowed. Like, how do you have a license somewhere, but you exclude somebody from your point? Like, I understand someone only did women's health, but did you realize that some women have their partners come to appointments with them, or their sons, or their best friends, or, you know, I don't know, they're, they could have a caregiver who helps them get up the stairs. I never heard of a licensed doctor excluding a male from entering a facility. I mean, I've been hurt by males and I can understand someone could say, oh, I have like a boutique and I let the clients know that there's not going to be any male figures at all in here. What about transgender? What about gender fluid? How do you know that I didn't identify as a male? You know what I'm saying? So it was just, um, all right, then. Have a good life. I never thought I'd see this person. And I said, oh, tell me about this. Help me with this. Help me with this class. This blah, blah, blah. I'm going to tell you right now what it is. Put it in your brain. And I consider coming home and emailing all these people and letting them exploit me. No. Especially when you're rude and disrespectful. I'm not asking to be the Queen of Elizabeth of England. You know, I'm not expecting you to curtsy to me. But I also don't think it's alright for you to fuss and yell at me and lie to me and tell me false information. It'd be like if, if you have a lake house and your neighbors just moved to town and you say, well, first of all, don't ever rake your yard, don't ever cut your trees, the paint falls off your house, leave it off your house, say you live in an HOA, and whatever you do, you absolutely take your septic tank at once every three months and you dump it in the lake. Like, oh, really? They'll take, okay, okay. Or next thing you know, the county's got a bunch of 
pictures of you doing all this crap that is straight up against the rules. It's not that they can't read the HOA rules when they moved in. Maybe they're vague. Maybe they're poorly written. Maybe they're too busy working in order to pay the mortgage, the insurance, and the taxes on the house. So they sit down and understanding vague rules that they have no company you could call and say, can you explain rules one, two, three, and four? Because they're all contradictory. That's what I find in life, including with taxes. How a government organization is paying people really good money, including their holidays, paid holidays, paid vacations, retirement accounts, insurance, good insurance. How can you not have anyone who's competent enough to go through the rule book? Like, I can read. Everyone I know can read, but I can. I see all this contradictory information. And it's not like you have a place on the bottom that says, if you see contradictory information, please email or call us here and let us know. Because that needs to be clear. Because then it's like you're never in a win situation. Because if every single thing you do on this page, it says you can, you must. And this page, it says you absolutely cannot. There's no middle of the road. You either do it or you don't. Can someone explain this to me? Am I that much of a geek? So being such a geek and trying to do my business, being disrespected by potential clients yelling at me, contacting me 10, 11 o'clock at night, 6, 7 in the morning. I don't like, I'm going to block them. No, I'm not going to block. If they're not my clients and they're being disrespectful, it's just like when people come into an office and yell and fuss at their receptionist or their medical assistant, or they're having a huff and getting violent and disrespectful in the waiting room. There comes a point where you're not able to enter this establishment because your behavior is poor. And here's a list of some people that you can go to. And if you're doing care, if they're even a patient yet or doing medications, you need to, at least in Oregon, you have 30 days of care. You continue 30 days of medications and a referral list, which I've done before. And I have those same people trying to call me. And I said, if you're going to be in my place again, you know, you're going to sign, re-sign and re-sign on as a new customer. And in a lot of cases, these people screwed me over, changed their insurance, didn't pay, all this other stuff. And it becomes one of those things where you have to pay cash, whatever way that the insurance allows that. Because if they're not paying, the insurance is not paying. Uh Uh-uh. That insurance company is not going to go months and years without getting paid. They're going to give the service, they're going to get paid. Insurance company, it's like a troll on your bridge. They're not even really giving that much of a service. They're still getting paid. They're still getting paid a premium. There's a bunch of signs in this road over here that says do not park 6 to 6. So I got up in the middle of the night and moved the car to a different lot. Not too far. I have a little bit left of that, by the way. But my food is running out to pay. I have a Facebook group called Preparedness, something, something medical. I'm the only member. I thought I didn't write anything. I saw a bunch of posts that I had written over the past few months. I'm listening to outdoor disasters. OD. I'm, I am really hooked. This guy just started three months ago. He's got a ton of followers, a ton of views. It is quite good. It is quite extensive. The videos between the shorts and the regular are not that long, but he is talking fast. And he has a lot of photographs of the unfortunate events. Some are, thank God, that these people survived. Um, I can tell their story. There's a horrible one I watched yesterday. Spoiler and trigger alert. The Was it the Half Dome at Yosemite? He was talking a lot about Yosemite. It just brings tears in my eyes. And some young people from work, from one guy's work, came out with him and someone's brother and... I don't know, I I actually need to rewatch it about one end up falling over the edge and this and another one was electrocuted. So I wanna talk about some of the things I'm learning with giving credit to this fellow who's doing this um out what did I call it? Outdoor disasters. Also, um I believe that's a group called High on Life. They died. I've been praying for their families. I'm gonna cry all weekend. This is the type of person I am. People say you cry too much. 
You're too emotional. Too emotional. I heard about three young lions snuffed out too early because they fell off a waterfall or one fell and the other saved, tried to save each other. And they're inspirational and they were enjoying their life and they were going on journeys just like these um, extreme sports people. I can see him so now. I don't know why. He's probably trying to figure out if to sign. <laughs> so I have to go soon. But with the recent story about, so this person will tell at the end of the story, kind of like this is monsters. I'll talk about how to get support for um, abuse and LGBTQ um, plus abuse um, hotlines and different types of hotlines and different websites that are, safe or try to get to safety so this other um, group also puts at the end a disclaimer like if you're so when they were going up the mountain there was a sign that says if there's any lightning do not go up and they had cables they had to use to go up pretty much this granite rock that I don't remember seeing much of the half dome and just imagining myself in these beautiful places and just making us one split second wrong decision or, oh, let's just push ourselves. I have done that. Let's just push ourselves 10 more minutes. Or, oh, we're almost done. Or do we want to turn around or go back around the loop? Yesterday, do we want to turn around? And on the way in the loop, my partner got a tick all the way up his leg. He was wearing boots and jeans. And I was, I've been like itchy. I'm all paranoid. And I thought the grass was going to be taller going around. And I, the grass was short where he got the tick on him. And, oh my gosh, I have to go. So, lightning, granite. So, if this was a granite wall and it got struck and then they were water. So, they got, they all were electrocuted and some made it and some died. And some, I think, died in the cave. So, heartbreaking to the families, heartbreaking to the people that had the issue. The families tried to sue the park rangers, the park. But there's warnings and signs and people saying, turn back around, turn back around. So think about that. I'm watching one about the Pacific Coast um, trail, which I've heard about. And this is, I've heard about people going on that trail. So I'm going to watch a little bit more and I'm going to get to work. But let's be safe. Let's be careful. I could walk across the street to go grab a water bottle out of the car and back. And there's dangers that cars don't stop when you're in the crosswalk. People get in your face and especially if you're black and they try to like block the sidewalk so you can't get by so you're falling off the curb and all this chaos because of other people's stupidity and meanness besides them blocking that.